Chapter thirty six of Jerusalem to Revelations A Quartet of Spiritual Experience by William Blake and others. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. A recording by Tony Addison. The Chapters of Coming Forth by Day. Chapter one hundred and forty three. Chapter 143 consists of the vignette to chapter 142, which is found in the Sa'it recension only. This vignette is divided into five sections. 1. A woman standing upright with arms pendant. 2. A hawk upon a standard placed in a boat. 3. A man with his left hand raised as if in invocation standing in a boat. Before him are two discs, one large and one small. 4. The sectet boat, wherein are two hawks upon standards. 5. A man, the deceased, standing upright, with both hands raised in adoration. Chapter 144 From the Papyrus of Nu Vignette, the seven arets, or mansions. Text, the chapter of entering in. The Osiris Nu, triumphant, saith, one, the first aret, Seket Hra Ashtaru, is the name of the doorkeeper of the first aret. Semetu, is the name of the watcher and who keru is the name of the herald thereof two the second arit tun hat is the name of the doorkeeper of the second arit seket hra is the name of the watcher and sabez is the name of the herald thereof three the third arit am huat and befi is the name of the doorkeeper of the third arit Reyes Hara is the name of the watcher, and Uwa'u is the name of the herald thereof. 4. The fourth Aret, Kesef Hara Asht Keru, is the name of the doorkeeper of the fourth Aret. Reyes Ab is the name of the watcher, and Net Eka Hara Kesef Atu is the name of the herald thereof. 5. The fifth Aret. Ank M. Fentu is the name of the doorkeeper of the fifth Aret. Ashabu is the name of the watcher, and Teb Her Kehat is the name of the herald thereof. 6. The sixth Aret. Ak N. Tau Kehakaru is the name of the doorkeeper of the sixth Aret. An Hara is the name of the watcher, and Metes Hara Ari She is the name of the herald thereof. Seven, the seventh Aret, Metes Sem is the name of the doorkeeper of the seventh Aret. A Keru is the name of the watcher, and Kesef Hara Kimiu is the name of the herald thereof. Hail, ye Arets! Hail, ye who make the Arets for Osiris! Hail, ye who watch your Arets! Hail, ye who herald the affairs of the two lands for the god Osiris each day, the Osiris Nu, the overseer of the palace, the chancellor-in-chief triumphant, knoweth you, and he knoweth your names. The Osiris Nu hath been born in Rastau, and every glory of the horizon and every honour have been given unto him. The Osiris Nu is in the city of Pe, like the pure being Osiris. The Osiris Nu hath received acclamations in Rastau, and the gods lead him over the horizon, along with the divine princes who are behind Osiris. I am the divine one among them, and I am their leader. 
the Osiris Nu is a Ku, the Lord of the Kus, a Ku who worketh. The Osiris Nu celebrateth the monthly festival, and he is the herald of the half-monthly festival. Hail, thou that revolvest! The Osiris Nu is under the fiery eye of Horus, and he is under the hand of Thoth on the night when he travelleth over heaven in triumph. The Osiris Nu passeth onwards in peace, and he journeyeth in the boat of Ra. The strength which protecteth the Osiris Nu is the strength which protecteth the boat of Ra. The Osiris Nu hath a name greater than yours, and he is greater than you are on the path of Mart. The Osiris abominateth defeat. The strength which protecteth the Osiris Nu is the strength which protecteth Horus, the firstborn of Ra. He hath made his heart, and the Osiris Nu shall not be constrained, and he shall not be repulsed at the arrets of the god Osiris. The Osiris Nu hath been provided with all things by the double lion god, and the pure one is in the following of Osiris, the governor of Amente, throughout the course of each day, daily. His fields are in Sekti Hetep, with the divine beings who know things, and with those who perform things for the Osiris Nu, by the hand of Thoth, among those who make offerings of propitiation. And Anubis hath commanded him that dwelleth among offerings, that the offerings of the Osiris Nu shall be with him, and that they shall not be taken away from him, by those divine beings who dwell in fetters. The Osiris Nu, the overseer at the palace, the chancellor-in-chief triumphant, cometh like unto Horus in the splendour of the horizon of heaven, and Ra hath set him in order for the arrets of the horizon. The gods rejoice in him when they meet him. The amulets of the god are for the Osiris Nu. The god Neb shall not come to him, and the doorkeepers of the arret shall not overthrow him. The Osiris Nu is hidden of face within the great celestial house which is the shrine of the god, and he arriveth there in the following of the pure one, Hathor. The Osiris Nu createth multitudes of human beings, he maketh Mart to advance to Ra, and he destroyeth the twofold strength of Apep. The Osiris Nu maketh the way through the firmament, he driveth the way the whirlwind and the storm. He maketh the mariners of Ra to live, and he maketh offerings to come unto the place where he is. The Osiris Nu causeth the boat to be made, he travelleth therein happily. The Osiris Nu maketh the way, and he advanceth thereon. The face of the Osiris Nu is like that of the god el Pehiep, by reason of the might, and the Osiris Nu is the lord of might. The Osiris Nu is at rest in the horizon, and he is valiant to overthrow you, O ye Nehesu gods. Make a path, then, for your lord Osiris. Rubric This chapter shall be said over a drawing of the divine sovereign chiefs, which hath been done in yellow ink on the boat of Ra, and offerings and oblations shall be made unto them, and sacrifices of feathered fowl and incense shall be burnt before them. These acts will make the deceased to live, and they will give him strength among these gods, and he shall neither be repulsed nor turned back at the pylons of the underworld. And, moreover, thou shalt make a figure of the deceased in their presence, and thou shalt make it to come forth towards every one of these gates which are painted above. And thou shalt recite this chapter at the door of each of the arrets which are painted above, and that each one of them thou shalt make offerings, viz. the thigh, the head, the heart, and the hoof of a red bull, and four vessels of blood which hath not come from the breast, and amulets, and sixteen loaves of white bread, and eight passim, or person loaves, and eight shenan loaves, and eight Kenfu loaves, and eight heben nu loaves, and eight large vessels of beer, and eight large vessels of grain, 
and four earthenware vessels filled with the milk of a white cow, and fresh herbs, and fresh olive, and unguent, and eye paint, and hat at unguent, and incense to be burnt on the fire, and this chapter shall be recited twice over each earthenware vessel, after the drawing or image hath been made at the fourth hour going round about by day, and take good heed to the time in the heavens. Now when thou doest what is written in this book, do not allow any person whatsoever to see thee, and this ceremony shall make long the strides of the deceased in heaven and on earth, and in the underworld, and it shall benefit him in everything which he doeth, and he shall possess the things of the day regularly and continually. Chapter 145 From Lepsius Token Book Chapter 145 and 146 are two versions of one and the same text. Of these, chapter 145 is the longer, and the two different forms of it, of each of which, unfortunately, only a single imperfect copy is extant, are described by Neville. Both are ancient, one appearing in the tomb of Seti II, Mary en Ptah, at Thebes, and the other in the papyrus of the royal military scribe Paur. A better general view of the contents of chapter 145 will probably be obtained from the text, as given in the Sa'it recension, than from the mutilated ancient forms now known. It is, moreover, fuller than the others, and the following translation has been made from it. Vignette the twenty-one pylons of Seket Anre, at the house of Osiris. In each section the deceased stands, with hands raised in adoration, before a god who stands by the side of a shrine. Text. Here begin the chapters of the pylons of Seket Anre, of the house of Osiris, the Osiris of Ankh triumphant, saith, One. Homage to thee, saith Horus, O thou first pylon of the still heart. I have made my way, I know thee, and I know thy name, and I know the name of the god who guardeth thee. Lady of tremblings with lofty walls, the sovereign lady, the mistress of destruction, who setteth in order the words which drive back the whirlwind and the storm, who delivereth from destruction him that traveleth along the way is thy name. The name of the God who guardeth thee is Nerau. I have washed myself in the water, wherein the god Ra washeth himself, when he leaveth the eastern part of the sky. I have anointed myself with hearty unguent made from the cedar. I have arrayed myself in apparel of menk, and I have with me my sceptre of heti wood. Saith the pylon, Pass on them, thou art pure. 2. The Osiris, Alf Ankh, triumphant, saith, Homage to thee, saith Horus, O thou second pylon of the still heart. I have made my way, I know thee, and I know thy name, and I know the name of the God who guardeth thee. Lady of heaven, the mistress of the world, who terrifieth the earth, from the place of thy body is thy name. The name of the God who guardeth thee, is Mespatah. I have washed myself in the water, wherein the god Osiris washeth himself, to whom were given the sectet boat and the martet boat, when he came forth over Amurt and passed through the pylons. I have anointed myself with the unguent of the festivals. I have arrayed myself in apparel of sachet, and I have with me my sceptre of benben wood. Saith the pylon, Pass on them, Thou art pure. 3. The Osiris Alf Ankh, triumphant, saith, Homage to thee, saith Horus, O thou third pylon of the still heart. I have made my way, I know thee, and I know thy name, 
and I know the name of the God who guardeth thee, Lady of Pylons, Lady to whom abundant offerings are made, who giveth whatsoever is there, the guide of the offerings, who gratifieth the gods, who giveth the day for the sailing up of the boat Neshemet, to Abtu Abidos is thy name. The name of the God who guardeth thee is Bek. I have washed myself in the water wherein the god Ptah washeth, when he saileth up to carry away the god Henu, on the day of opening the face. I have anointed myself with hearty unguent, made of Hekenu unguent, and of Tehenu unguent. I have arrayed myself in apparel of Shezad, and have with me my sceptre of alien wood. Saith the pylon, Pass on them, thou art pure. 4. The Osiris, out and triumphant, saith, Homage to thee, saith Horus, O thou fourth pylon of the still heart. I have made my way, I know thee, and I know thy name, and I know the name of the god who guardeth thee. She who prevaileth with knives, the mistress of the two lands, who destroyeth the enemies of the still heart, who maketh the decree for the escape of the needy from evil hap, is thy name. The name of the god who guardeth thee is Hutapa. I have washed myself in the water, wherein the god Unnefer triumphant washeth himself, when he hath had a dispute with Set, and when victory is given unto him. I have anointed myself with Sunt Unguent, and with Enen unguent, I am pure. I have arrayed myself in chaised apparel, like unto that in which thy son was arrayed, and I have with me my sceptre of Tau Atutu wood. Saith the pylon, Pass on them, thou art pure. 5. The Osiris, Alf Ank, triumphant, saith, Homage to thee, saith Horus, O thou fit pylon of the still heart, I have made my way, I know thee, and I know thy name, I know the name of the God who guardeth thee, Lady of splendour, Lady of praises, Lofty one, nape out to chat, The lady to whom supplications are made, And to whom none entereth is thy name, The name of the God who guardeth thee, Is out her an requa. I have washed myself in the water wherein Horus washed himself, When he made himself the chief reader, and Sar Mer F for his father Osiris. I have anointed myself with Deher Unguent, made of holy offerings. I have upon me the skin of the panther, and I have with me my sceptre, wherewith to smite those who are black of heart. Saith the pylon, Pass on them, thou art pure. 6. The Osiris, Alf and Triumphant, saith, Homage to thee, saith Horus, O thou sixth pylon of the still heart, I have made my way, I know thee, and I know thy name, and I know the name of the god who guardeth thee, lady to whom abundant supplication is made, the difference between whose height and breadth is unknown, the like of whom for strength hath not been overturned since the beginning, the number of the serpents which are there upon their bellies is unknown, the divine image, the strengthener out of the night, being born in the presence of the still heart is thy name. The name of the God who guardeth thee is Samti. I have washed myself in the water wherein the God Thoth washed himself when he made himself the Tachat of Horus. I have anointed myself with Uaka Unguent. I have arrayed myself in apparel of Thestes, and I have with me my sceptre of Septwood, saith the pylon, pass on them, thou art pure. 6. The Osiris, Alf and Triumphant, saith, Homage to thee, saith Horus, O thou seventh pylon of the still heart. I have made my way, I know thee, and I know thy name, and I know the name of the God who guardeth thee. Water flood which clotheth the feeble one, Weeper for that which she loveth, Shrouding the body is thy name. The name of the God who guardeth thee is Amnik. I have washed myself in the water Wherein the goddesses Isis and Nephthys Washed themselves when they passed the crocodile With his crocodiles on their way to the opening Of the place of purity. 
I have anointed myself with hekanu unguent. I have arrayed myself in unk apparel, and I have with me my sceptre and my paddle. Saith the pylon, Pass on them, thou art pure. 8. The Osiris Alp Ang Triumphant saith, Homage to thee, saith Horus, O thou eighth pylon of the still heart, I have made my way, I know thee, and I know thy name, and I know the name of the God who guardeth thee. She that belongeth to her Lord, the mighty goddess, the gracious one, the lady who giveth birth to the divine form of her Lord, or, as others say, who passeth through and traverseth the land, the head of which is millions of cubits in depth and in height, is thy name. The name of the God who guardeth thee is Necheses. I have washed myself in the water wherein the god Ampu washed when he had performed the office of embalmer and bandager, or, as others say, the chief reader of Osiris. I have anointed myself with sept unguent, I have arrayed myself in apparel of Ditema, and I have my garment of inen stuff, or, as others say, of catskin, with me. Saith the pylon, Pass on them, thou art pure. 9. The Osiris, up and triumphant, saith, Homage to thee, saith Horus, O thou ninth pylon of the still heart. I have made my way, I know thee, and I know thy name, and I know the name of the God who guardeth thee. Blazing flame of Horus, which cannot be extinguished, which having passed is followed by another, which is provided with tongues of flame that project to destroy, irresistible and impassable by any, by reason of the injury which it doeth is thy name. There is fear through the might of its roaring. The name of the God who guardeth thee is Ku to Chetef. I have washed myself in the water, wherein the ram, lord of Tetu, washed himself thoroughly from one end of his body to the other. I have anointed myself with ant unguent of the divine members, and with ank unguent I have arrayed myself in a tunic of fair white linen, and I have with me my sceptre of benen wood. Saith the pylon, Pass on them, thou art pure. 10. The Osiris Alf Ank Triumphant saith, Homage to thee, saith Horus, O thou tenth pylon of the still heart, I have made my way, I know thee, and I know thy name, and I know the name of the God who guardeth thee. Lofty of gates, who raiseth up those who cry, who are terrible unto him that would come unto thee, or, as others say, she who maketh one to make supplication by reason of the loudness of her voice, vanquisher of the foe who is not constrained by that which is within her, is thy name. The name of the God who watcheth thee is Sekhen Ur. I have washed myself in the water wherein the God Astes washed himself when he entered in to be an advocate for Set within the hidden chamber. I have anointed myself with Teshen Unguent, and I have with me a sceptre made of the bone of the bird Lesha, having a head like that of a greyhound. Saith the pylon, Pass on them, thou art pure. 11. The Osiris, Alf and Triumphant, saith, Homage to thee, saith Horus, O thou eleventh pylon of the still heart, I have made my way, I know thee, and I know thy name, and I know the name of the being who is within thee. She who repeateth slaughters, who burneth up the fiends, the mistress of every pylon, the lady to whom acclamation is made on the day of hearing iniquity is thy name. Thou hast the judgment of the feeble bandaged one. Saith the pylon, Pass on them, thou art pure. 12. The Osiris, Alp Ang, triumphant, saith, Homage to thee, saith Horus, O thou twelfth pylon of the still heart, I have made my way, I know thee, and I know thy name, and I know the name of the being who is within thee. She who journeyeth about in the two lands, 
who destroyeth those who come with flashings and with fire the lady of splendour who hearkeneth to the word of her lord every day is thy name thou hast the judgment of the feeble bandaged one saith the pylon pass on them thou art pure thirteen the osiris alf and triumphant saith homage to thee saith horus o thou thirteenth pylon of the still heart i have made my way i know thee and i know thy name and i know the name of the being who is within thee when the company of the gods is led along the hands are raised in adoration before her face and the watery abyss shineth with light by reason of those who are therein is thy name thou hast the judgment of the feeble bandaged one saith the pylon pass on them thou art pure fourteen the osiris of ank triumphant saith homage to thee saith horus o thou fourteenth pylon of the still heart i have made my way i know thee and i know thy name and i know the name of the being who is within thee mighty one of souls red of hair heart habit who cometh forth by night who destroyeth the fiends in their created forms which their hands give to the still heart in his hour the one who cometh and goeth is thy name she hath the judgment of the feeble bandaged one saith the pylon pass on them thou art pure fifteen the osiris alp and triumphant saith homage to thee saith horus o thou fifteenth pylon of the still heart i have made my way i know thee and i know thy name and i know the name of the being who is within thee lady of valour destroyer of the ruddy ones who celebrateth the hacker festivals when the fire is extinguished on the day of hearing cases of iniquity is thy name she hath the judgment of the feeble bandaged one saith the pylon pass on them thou art pure sixteen the osiris alp ang triumphant saith homage to thee saith horus o thou sixteenth pylon of the still heart i have made my way i know thee and i know thy name and i know the name of the being who is within thee lady of victory whose hand goeth after the fiends who burneth with flames of fire when she cometh forth creator of the mysteries of the earth is thy name she hath the judgment of the feeble bandaged one saith the pylon pass on then thou art pure seventeen the osiris alp and triumphant saith homage to thee saith horus o thou seventeenth pylon of the still heart i have made my way i know thee and i know thy name and i know the name of the being who is within thee mighty one in the horizon lady of the ruddy ones destroyer in blood art habit power lady of flame is thy name she hath the judgment of the feeble bandaged one saith the pylon pass on them thou art pure eighteen the osiris alp ang triumphant saith homage to thee saith horus o thou eighteenth pylon of the still heart i have made my way i know thee and i know thy name and i know the name of the being who is within thee lover of flame pure one hearkening unto thee behold she loveth to cut off the heads of the venerated ones lady of the great house destroyer of fiends at eventide is thy name she hath the judgment of the feeble bandaged one saith the pylon pass on them thou art pure nineteen the osiris alp ang triumphant saith homage to thee saith horus o thou nineteenth pylon of the still heart i have made my way i know thee and i know thy name and i know the name of the being who is within thee dispenser of strength or as others say of light of the palace the mighty one of the flame the lady of the strength and of the writings of ptah himself is thy name 
she hath the judgment of the feeble bandaged one. Saith the pylon, Pass on then, thou art pure. 20. The Osiris, out and triumphant, saith, Homage to thee, saith Horus, O thou twentieth pylon of the still heart, I know thee, and I know thy name, and I know the name of the being who is within thee. Stone of her lord, field with a serpent, clother, what she createth she hideth, taking possession of hearts, opener of herself is thy name. She hath the judgment of the feeble bandage one, saith the pylon, pass on them, thou art pure. 21. The Osiris, Alp and triumphant, saith, Homage to thee, saith Horus, O thou twenty-first pylon of the still heart, I have made my way, I know thee, and I know thy name, and I know the name of the God who guardeth thee, sword that smiteth at the utterance of its own name, goddess with face turned backwards, the unknown one, overthrower of him that draweth nigh to her flame, is thy name. Thou keepest the secret things of the avenger of the God who guardeth thee, and his name is Amem. He maketh it to come to pass that the cedar trees grow not, that the acacia trees bring not forth, and that copper is not begotten in the mountain. The divine sovereign chiefs of this pylon are as seven gods. Tichem, or At, is the name of the one at the door. Hetep Mes, is the name of the second. Mesep is the name of the third. Utre is the name of the fourth. ap is the name of the fifth. Bek is the name of the sixth. And Anpu is the name of the seventh. I have made my way. I am Amsu Heru, the avenger of his father, the heir of his father Unnefer. I have come, and I have caused to be overthrown all the enemies of my father Osiris. I have come day by day with victory, doing myself the worship of the god in the house of his father Tem, the lord of Anu. The Osiris, Alf and triumphant, is in the southern heaven. I have done what is right and true for him that made right and truth. I have celebrated the Hakka festivals for the lord thereof. I have led the way in the festival. I have given cakes unto the lords of the altar, and I have brought offerings and oblations, and cakes and ale, and oxen and ducks, to my father, Osiris, or Nefer. I have my being in a body which hath the soul, and I make the Benu bird to come forth at my words. I have come daily into the house of the god to make offerings of incense. I have brought garments of byssus, and I have sailed on the sacred lake in the Neshem boat, I have made Osiris, the governor of Amentet, to be triumphant over his enemies. I have carried away all his foes to the place of slaughter in the east, and they shall never come forth from the durance of the god Seb therein. I stand up for him, along with the divine Kafani of Ra, and I make him to be triumphant. I have come even as a scribe, and I have made all things plain. I have made the god to have power over his legs. I have come into the house of him that is upon his hill, that is, Anubis, and I have seen him that is ruler in the divine hall, that is, Anubis. I have entered into Restau, I have hidden myself, and I have found out the way. I have travelled unto Anrut, I have clothed him that was naked, I have sailed up to Abtu Abydos, I have praised the gods who and Sao. I have entered into the house of Astes, and I have made supplication to the Kati gods, and to Saket, in the temple of Neith, or, as others say, to the princes. I have entered into Rastau, I have hidden myself, and I have found out the way. I have troubled unto Anrut Af, I have clothed him who was naked, I have sailed up to Abtu, I have praised Hu and Sao. I have received my crown at my rising, and I have crowned myself upon my throne, in the habitation of my father, and of the first company of the gods. I have worshipped in my birthplace of Ta-Teshetet, and my mouth 
is filled with right and truth. I have drowned the serpent, ach, ka. I have come into the great house, which giveth vigour unto the limbs, and it hath been granted unto me to sail about in the boat of high. The fragrance of Aunt Ungawant ariseth from the hair of the beings who have knowledge. I have entered into the house of Astes, and I have made supplication unto the Kati gods, and unto Sekhet, in the temple of the prince. Saith the pylon, Thou hast come being a favoured one in Tatu, O Osiris of Ankh, triumphant, son of Sharat Amsu, triumphant. End of chapter 36「Chapter thirty seven of Jerusalem to Revelations, a Quartet of Spiritual Experience by William Blake and others. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Tony Addison. The Chapters of Coming Forth by Day. Chapter one hundred and forty six. From the Papyrus of Nu. Vignettes. Fourteen shrines, in each of which a god is seated. Text. Here begin the chapters of entering in at the hidden pylons of the house of Osiris in Sekhet Anreru. One. The Osiris Nu, the overseer of the palace, the chancellor-in-chief triumphant, when he cometh to the first pylon of Osiris, saith, I have made my way, I know you, and I know your name, and I know the name of the God who guardeth you, lady of tremblings with lofty walls, the sovereign lady, the mistress of destruction, who setteth in order the words which drive back the whirlwind and the storm, who delivereth from destruction him that travelleth along the way is thy name. The name of thy doorkeeper is Neri. 2. The Osiris knew, when he cometh to the second pylon of Osiris, saith, I have made my way, I know you, and I know your name and I know the name of the God who guardeth you. Lady of heaven, the mistress of the world, who devoureth with fire, the lady of mortals who knoweth mankind is thy name. The name of thy doorkeeper is Mespeh, or Mesptah. 3. The Osiris knew, when he cometh to the third pylon of Osiris, saith, I have made my way, I know you, and I know your name, and I know the name of the God who guardeth you, Lady of the altar, the lady to whom abundant offerings are made, in whom every God rejoiceth on the day of sailing up to Abtu, Abydos, is thy name. The name of thy doorkeeper is Ertet Sabanka. 4. The Osiris knew when he cometh to the fourth pylon of Osiris, saith, I have made my way, I know you, and I know your name, and I know the name of the God who guardeth you. She who prevaileth with knives, the mistress of the world, destroyer of the foes of the still heart, who maketh the decree for the escape of the needy from evil hap, is thy name. The name of thy doorkeeper is Nekau. 5. The Osiris knew, when he cometh to the fifth pylon of Osiris, saith, I have made my way, I know you, and I know your name, and I know the name of the God who guardeth you. Fire, the lady of flames, who inhaleth the supplications which are made to her, who permitteth not thee to enter in, is thy name. The name of thy doorkeeper is Henti Reku. Six. The Osiris knew, 
when he cometh to the sixth pylon of Osiris, saith, I have made my way, I know you, and I know your name, and I know the name of the God who guardeth you, Lady of Light, the lady to whom abundant supplication is made, the difference between her height and her breadth is unknown, the like of her hath never been found since the beginning, there is a serpent thereupon whose size is not known, it was born in the presence of the still heart is thy name. The name of the doorkeeper is Samamti. 7. The Osiris knew, when he cometh to the seventh pylon of Osiris, saith, I have made my way, I know you, and I know your name, and I know the name of the God who guardeth you, robe which doth clothe the divine feeble one, weeping for what it loveth, and shrouding the body, is thy name. The name of the doorkeeper is Akenti. 8. The Osiris knew, when he cometh to the eighth pylon of Osiris, saith, I have made my way, I know you, and I know your name, and I know the name of the God who guardeth you. Blazing fire, the flame whereof cannot be quenched, provided with tongues of flame which reach afar, the slaughtering one, the irresistible one, through whom a man may not pass, by reason of the hurt which he doeth, is thy name. The name of the doorkeeper is Ku Tchet-F. 9. The Osiris knew, when he cometh to the ninth pylon of Osiris, saith, I have made my way, I know you, and I know your name, and I know the name of the God who guardeth you. She who is in the front, the lady of strength, quiet of heart, who giveth birth to her lord, whose girth is three hundred and fifty measures, who sendeth forth rays like the net stone of the south, who raiseth up the divine form, and clotheth the feeble one, who giveth offerings to her lord every day, is thy name. The name of the doorkeeper is Tchesef. 10. The Osiris knew, when he cometh to the tenth pylon of Osiris, saith, I have made my way, I know you, and I know your name, and I know the name of the God who guardeth you. Thou, who art loud of voice, who raisest up those who cry, and who make supplication unto her whose voice is loud, the terrible one, the lady who is to be feared, who destroyeth not that which is in her, is thy name. The name of the doorkeeper is Seken Ur. 11. The Osiris knew, when he cometh to the eleventh pylon of Osiris, saith, I have made my way, I know you, and I know your name, and I know the name of her who is within thee. She who slaughtereth always, the burner up of fiends, mistress of every pylon, the lady to whom acclamation is made on the day of darkness is thy name. She hath the judgment of the feeble bandaged one. 12. The Osiris knew, when he cometh to the twelfth pylon of Osiris, saith, I have made my way, I know you, and I know your name, and I know the name of her who is within thee. Thou who invokest thy two lands, who destroyest those who come with flashings and with fire, the lady of splendour, who hearkeneth unto the speech of her lord, is thy name. She hath the judgment of the feeble bandaged one. 13. The Osiris knew, when he cometh to the thirteenth pylon of Osiris, saith, I have made my way, I know you, and I know your name, and I know the name of her who is within thee. Osiris, bringeth his two hands over her, and maketh the god happy, that is, the Nile, to send forth splendour out of his hidden places is thy name. She hath the judgment of the feeble bandaged one. 14. The Osiris knew, when he cometh to the fourteenth pylon of Osiris, saith, I have made my way, I know you, and I know your name, and I know the name of her who is within thee. 
lady of might who danceth on the blood-red ones who keepeth the festival of hacker on the day of the hearing of faults is thy name she hath the judgment of the feeble banded one fifteen the fifteenth pylum the osiris hero m kebet triumphant saith when he cometh to this pylum the fiend red of hair and eyes who cometh forth by night and doth fetter the fiend in his lair may her hands be given to the still heart in his hour and may she advance and go forward is thy name she hath the judgment of the feeble bandaged one sixteen the sixteenth pylum the osiris haru m kebet triumphant saith when he cometh forth to this pylum terrible one the lady of the rainstorm who planteth ruin in the souls of men the devourer of the dead bodies of mankind the orderer and producer and creator of slaughter is thy name she hath the judgment of the feeble bandaged one seventeen the seventeenth pylon the osiris heru m kebet triumphant saith when he cometh forth to this pylon hewer in pieces in blood a habit lady of hair is thy name she hath the judgment of the feeble bandaged one eighteen the eighteenth pylon the osiris heru m kebet triumphant saith when he cometh to this pylon lover of the fire pure of slaughterings which she loveth cutter off of heads venerated one lady of the great house destroyer of fiends at eventide is thy name she hath the judgment of the feeble bandaged one nineteen the nineteenth pylon the osiris heru m kebet triumphant saith when he cometh to this pylon dispenser of light during her period of life watcher of flames the lady of the strength and of the writings of the god ptah himself is thy name she hath the judgment of the bandages of per an or per hetch twenty the twentieth pylon the osiris haru m kebet triumphant saith when he cometh to this pylon she who dwelleth within the cavern of her lord clother is her name she hideth what she hath created she taketh possession of hearts she swalloweth is thy name she hath the judgment of the bandages of per an or per hetch twenty one the twenty first pylon the osiris Haru M. Kebet triumphant, saith, when he cometh to this pylon, Knife which cutteth when its name is uttered, and slayeth those who advance towards its flames, is thy name. She hath secret plots and counsels. Chapter 147 From the Papyrus of Ani the first abbot vignette arni and his wife thuthu approaching the first abbot at the entrance of which sit three gods having the head of a hare of a serpent and of a crocodile respectively text the name of the doorkeeper is seket hra asht aru the name of the watcher is semeti the name of the herald is ha -Keru. The Osiris Ani triumphant shall say, when he cometh unto the first Arat, I am the mighty one who createth his own light. I have come unto thee, O Osiris, and purified from that which defieth thee, I adore thee. Lead on, name not the name of rest thou unto me. Homage to thee, O Osiris, in thy might and in thy strength in Rastad. Rise up and conquer, O Osiris, in Abtu. 
thou goest round about heaven thou sailest in the presence of ra thou lookest upon all the beings who have knowledge hail ra thou who circlest in the sky verily i say o osiris i am the spiritual body salt of the god and i say let me not be driven hence nor upon the wall of burning coals open the way in rest thou ease the pain of osiris embrace that which the balance hath weighed make a path for him in the great valley make light to be on the way of osiris the second arit vignette an arit guarded by three gods having the head of a lion of a man and of a dog respectively text the name of the doorkeeper is un hat the name of the watcher is seket hara the name of the herald is uset the osiris ani triumphant shall say when he cometh to this arat he sitteth to do his heart's desire and he weareth words as the second of thoth the strength which protecteth thoth humbleth the hidden mart gods who feed upon mart throughout the years of their lives i make offerings at the moment when he maketh his way i pass on and enter upon the way grant thou that i may pass onwards and that i may gain sight of ra together with those who make offerings the third arat vignette an arat guarded by three gods having the head of a jackal the head of a dog and the head of a serpent respectively text the name of the doorkeepers is am hanatu ent pehui the name of the watcher is seres hurrah the name of the herald is ah the Osiris Ani triumphant shall say when he cometh to this Arat, I am the hidden one in the great deep, I am the judge of the Rahui, I have come and I have done away with the offensive thing which was upon Osiris, I am fastening the place whereon he shall stand which projecteth from the Uraret crown, I have perfected matters in Abtu, I have opened the way in Rastau, I have eased the pain which was in Osiris, I have made straight his standing place, and I have made his path, he shineth in Rastau. The fourth arat, vignette, an arat guarded by three gods, having the head of a man, of a hawk, and of a lion, respectively. Tack. The name of the doorkeeper is Kesef Hara Asht Keru. The name of the watcher is Sarez Tepu. The name of the herald is Kesef At. The Osiris Ani triumphant shall say, when he cometh to this Arat, I am the bull the son of the ancestress of Osiris. I grant ye that his father, the lord of his godlike companions, may bear witness for him. I have weighed the guilty in judgment. I have brought unto his nostrils the life which is everlasting. I am the son of Osiris. I have made the way. I have passed the over into Netaket. The fifth arat. Vignette an arat guarded by three gods having the head of a hawk of a man and of a snake respectively text the name of the doorkeeper is ang f m fent the name of the watcher is shabu the name of the herald is teb hra ha the osiris ani triumphant shall say when he cometh to this arid 
I have brought unto thee the bones of thy jaws in Restau. I have brought thee thy backbone in Anu, Heliopolis, gathering together its manifold parts therein. I have driven back Apep for thee. I have spit upon the wounds which are in him. I have made a path among you. I am the Ancient One among the gods. I have made the offering of Osiris. I have avenged him in triumph, gathering his bones and bringing together all his limbs. The Sixth Aret Vignette An Aret, guarded by three gods, the first having the head of a jackal, and the second and third the head of a dog. Text. The name of the doorkeeper is Atek Tau Kehak Keru. The name of the watcher is An Hra. The name of the herald is Ates Hra Arishe. The Osiris Ani triumphant shall say, when he cometh to this Aret, I have come daily, I have come daily, I have made my way. I have passed along that which was created by Ampu Anubis. I am the lord of the Uraret crown, possessing words of magical power, the avenger of Mart. I have avenged his eye, I have delivered Osiris, and I have made the way. The Osiris Arni passeth along with you in triumph. The seventh Aret. Vignette. An Aret, guarded by three gods having the head of a hare, of a lion, and of a man, respectively. Text. The name of the doorkeeper is Sekemet M. Tesusen. The name of the watcher is A. Ma. Keru. The name of the herald is Kesef Kemi. The Osiris Ani triumphant shall say, when he cometh to this Arit, I have come unto thee, O Osiris, who art cleansed of thine impurities. Thou goest round about heaven, thou seest Ra, thou seest the beings who have knowledge. Hail, only one, behold, thou art in the sectet boat, as it goeth round about the horizon of heaven. I speak what I will unto his spiritual body, Sab. It waxeth strong, and it cometh into being, even as he spake. Thou meetest his face, prosper thou for me all the ways which lead unto thee. End of chapter 37「Chapter 38 of Jerusalem to Revelations, a Quartet of Spiritual Experience by William Blake and others. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Tony Addison. The Chapters of Coming Forth by Day. Chapter 148. From the Papyrus of Noom. Vignette. A hall or shrine within which, on the left, Arni stands before two tables of offerings adoring Ra, or Osiris, hawk-headed. Next are ranged seven kine and a bull, each animal having offerings before it. Behind are four rudders, emblems of the cardinal points, and on the extreme right are four triads of God. The speech of Ani reads, Homage to thee, O thou Lord, thou Lord of right and truth, the only one, the Lord of eternity, and creator of everlastingness. I have come unto thee, O my Lord Ra. I have made offerings of herbs unto the seven kine, and unto their bull. O ye who give cakes and ale unto the coos, grant ye to my soul to be with you. May Osiris Ani be born upon your thighs, may he be like unto one of you for ever and for ever and may he become a coo in the beautiful amenti text the chapter of providing the deceased with food in the underworld the osiris knew 
the overseer of the palace, the chancellor-in-chief triumphant, the son of the overseer of the palace, the chancellor-in-chief, Amen Hetep, triumphant, saith, Homage to thee, O thou that shinest from thy disk, thou living soul, who comest forth from the horizon, the Osiris knew it knoweth thee, and he knoweth thy name, and he knoweth the name of thy seven kind, and of the bull that belongeth unto them. Hail ye who give cakes, and ale, and splendour to the souls, who are provided with food in the underworld. Grant ye cakes, and ale, unto the Osiris Nu. Provide ye him with food. Let him be in your following, and let him be borne upon your thighs. Here follow the names of the seven kine, and of their bull, with the address to them, by the deceased. 1. Het kau nebd ert chuk. 2. Akert kentet ausetes. 3. Me kebitet sab netter. 4. Er mertu es teshacheni. 5. Kene met em ank anwet. 6. Seke. Met ren es m abet es seven shenat pet uthasat neta eight ka tichai kaawi hail ye cows and bull grant ye cakes and ale and offerings of food to the osiris nu and supply ye him with food and make him to be a perfect coup in the underworld here follow the addresses to the four rudders by the deceased. Hail, thou beautiful power, thou beautiful rudder of the northern heaven. Hail, thou who revolvest, thou pilot of the two lands, thou beautiful rudder of the western heaven. Hail, thou shining one, who dwellest in the temple, wherein are the gods in visible forms, thou beautiful rudder of the eastern heaven. Hail, thou who dwellest within the temple of the ruddy beings, thou beautiful rudder of the southern heaven, grant ye cakes and ale and offerings of food and splendour to the coo of the Osiris Nu, grant ye unto him life and strength and health and abiding joy of heart upon earth, and grant ye unto him triumph in the horizon of Anu and in heaven and upon earth and in the underworld. Here follow the addresses to the four triads. Hail, ye fathers of the gods! Hail, ye mothers of the gods! Ye who are above the earth, and who dwell in the underworld, deliver ye the Osiris Nu from every obstacle of evil, from every attack of evil, from the cruel snare, and from the slaughtering knives, and from every wicked and evil thing whatsoever, which he could order to be done unto him by men, and by gods, and by the coups, and by the dead on this day, or on this night, or in this month, or in this half-monthly festival, or in this year, or in any of the seasons thereof whatsoever. Rubric These words shall be said when Ra appeareth over figures of the gods, written or painted in colour, upon a board, and thou shalt place offerings and to chop out food before them, cakes, ale, flesh, feathered fowl and incense, and they shall cause the deceased to possess sepulchral meals with Ra, and shall give him an abundance of food in the underworld, and shall deliver him from every evil thing whatsoever. And thou shalt not recite this book of Amnefa in the presence of any person except thine own self. And if this be done for the deceased, Ra shall be a rudder for him, and shall be a strength protecting him, and he shall make an end of all his enemies for him in the underworld, and in heaven, and upon earth, and in every place, wherever he may enter, and he shall have abundance of food regularly and continually for ever. Chapter 149 
from the papyrus of Nu. The fourteen arts or divisions of Sekhet Aru. 1. Vignette. The first art. Text. The first art, which is to be painted green. The Osiris Nu, the overseer of the palace, the chancellor-in-chief triumphant, saith, Hail, thou art of Amentet, wherein a man liveth upon cakes and ale. I remove thy wigs when I come towards thee. And behold, the mighty God who dwelleth in thee hath bound up my bones, and he hath established my members. And the Ahib, the Lord of hearts, hath gathered together my bones, and hath established the Ureret crown of Tem upon my head. And Neheb Kau, hath established for me my head. Full, full, and established is the balance. Thou shalt have dominion among the gods, O Amsuket. 2. Vignette. The second art. The horizon. Text. The second art, which is painted green. The god therein is Ra Heru Kuti. The Osiris Nu saith, I am the Mighty One of possessions in Sekhet Aru. Hail thou, Sekhet Aru, the walls of which are of iron, the height of the wheat thereof is five cubits, the ears thereof being two cubits long, and the stalks three cubits, the barley thereof is seven cubits in height, the ears being three cubits long, and the stalks four cubits. And behold, the coos, each of whom therein is nine cubits in height, reap the wheat and the barley side by side with Herukuti, Harmachis. I know the door, which is in the middle of Sekhet Aru, wherefrom Ra cometh forth into the eastern part of heaven. The southern portion thereof is in the lake of the Karu Fowl, and the northern portion thereof is in the canal of the ray fowl, in the place wherein Ra saileth round about by means of the winds which bear him along. I am he who watcheth the leathers in the divine boat. I am in the boat, and I am he who doth navigate it without ceasing. I know the two sycamore trees of turquoise, from between which the god Ra doth emerge, when he setteth out upon his journey over the pillars of Shu towards the door of the Lord of the East, wherefrom Ra cometh forth. I know the Seket Aru of Ra. The wheat therein is five cubits in height, the ears being two cubits long, and the stalks three cubits. The barley thereof is seven cubits in height, the ears being three cubits long, and the stalks four cubits. And behold, the coos therein, who are nine cubits in height, reap the wheat and the barley side by side with the divine souls of the east. 3. Vignette The third art, which is called the art of the coos. Text. The third art, which is to be painted green, the Osiris no triumphant saith, Hail, thou art of the Kuz, whereover none can sail, and wherein are the Kuz, the fire thereof is blazing with flame. Hail, thou art of the Kuz, your faces are in the land, make clear your ways, and purify ye your arts, and what hath been decreed by Osiris do ye for me for ever. I am the mighty one of the Teshet crown, which is on the brow of the God of light, and which maintaineth in life the two lands, and the men and women thereof, by means of the flame of its mouth. The God, Ra, hath been delivered from the fiend Apeth. 4. Vignette The fourth art, wherein is inscribed the double mountain, doubly high, and doubly great. Text. The fourth art, which is to be painted green. 
the Osiris Nu, triumphant, saith, Hail, thou who art chief of the hidden art, Hail, thou one who art lofty and great, who dwellest in the underworld, over whom the heaven spreadeth itself. Thou art three hundred measures in length, and two hundred and thirty measures in width, and thou hast over thee a serpent, the name of which is Sati Temui. He is seventy cubits in length, and he liveth by slaughtering the crews and the dead who are in the underworld. I stand up in thy enclosure, O Ma. I sail round about, and I see the way which leadeth unto thee. I gather myself together to thee. I am the man, and I clothe thy head. I am strong, and I have become strong. I am the God who is mighty in enchantments. My two eyes have been given to me, and I am glorious therewith. Who art thou, O Ku, that goest upon thy belly, and whose twofold strength is upon thy mountain? Grant thou unto me that I may go unto thee, and that thy twofold strength may be with me. I lift up myself by thy twofold strength. I have come, and I have vanquished the Akriu serpent of Ra. His peace is to me at eventide. I revolve in the heavens, and thou art in the mountain valley. A decree hath been made concerning thee upon earth. 5. Vignette. The Fifth Art. Text. The Fifth Art, which is to be painted green. The Osiris, new, triumphant, saith, Hail, thou art of the Khus, whereover none may pass. The Khus who are therein have thighs seven cubits long, and they live upon the shades of the weak and helpless. Hail, thou art of the Khus, open ye unto me your ways, so that I may pass by you and may go on to the beautiful Amentet, according to that which Osiris the Ku, the lord of Khus, hath decreed. I live by reason of my splendour, I perform every festival of the month, and I observe rightly the festival of the half-month. I revolve, and the eye of Horus is under my hand in the following of Thoth. The mouth of every god and of every dead person devoureth mine enemy this day, and he falleth down at the block of slaughter. Six. Vignette. The sixth art, with a fish inside it. Text. The sixth art, which is to be painted green. The Osiris Nu, triumphant, saith, Hail, thou Amahet, which art holy unto the gods, and art hidden unto the Khus, and art baleful unto the dead. The name of the god who dwelleth therein is Seker At. Homage to thee, O Amahet, I have come to see the gods who dwell in thee. Uncover your faces, and lay down your head-dresses when ye meet me, for behold, I am a mighty god among you, and I have come to prepare provisions for you. Let not Seker At have dominion over me, let not the divine slaughterers come after me, let not the murderous fiends come after me, but let me live upon sepulchral offerings among you. 7. Vignette. The Seventh Art. Text. The Seventh Art, which is to be painted green. The Osiris knew, triumphant, saith, Hail, thou city of Arces, which art remote from sight, and the fire of which is in flame. There is a serpent within thee, and his name is Rerak. The length of his backbone is seven cubits, and he liveth upon the crews, and he annihilateth thy glorious strength. Get thee back, O Rerak, who dwellest in the city of Arces, who devourest with thy mouth, and from whose eyes evil looks pour forth. Let thy bones be broken, 
and let thy emissions be impotent. Come thou not against me, and let not thy emissions come upon me. Let thy poison fall, and lie dead upon the earth, and let thy two lips be in thy den. The car of the serpent hath fallen, and conversely I have gained glorious strength. The maptet, that is, lynx, hath cut off thy head. 8. Vignette. The Eighth Art. Text. The eighth art, which is to be painted green. The Osiris knew, triumphant, saith. Hail, Hahetep, great and mighty one of the canal. None can obtain the mastery over the water which is therein. It is mightily to be feared, and the roarings which are therein are mighty. The name of the god therein is Ka. Ha Hetep, and he guardeth it gladly, so that none may enter. I am the Enoa bird, which is above the thigh of the god Ankeres, and I have brought the possessions of the earth to the god Tem, and I make strong and fortify the mariners of Ra. I have set the terror of myself in the divine lords of the shrine, and I have set the awe of me in the divine lords of things. Therefore I shall not be carried off to the slaughter-block of those who would willingly destroy me. I am the guide of the northern horizon, and I know the god who is therein. 9. Vignette. The Ninth Art. A crocodile thrusting his snout into a vase called Akazi. Text. The Ninth Art, which is to be painted yellow. The Osiris knew triumphant, saith, Hail, thou city Akazi, which art hidden from the gods. The Kus know the name of which the gods are afraid. None can enter therein, and none can come forth therefrom, except that holy god who dwelleth in his egg, and who putteth his fear into the gods, and the terror of himself into the Kus. The opening into the city is of fire, and the winds thereof destroy both nostrils and mouths, and the god hath made it for those who follow willingly in his train. None can breathe the winds thereof, except that holy god who dwelleth in his egg. He hath made the city so that he may dwell therein at will, and none can enter therein except on the day of great transformations. Homage to thee, O thou holy god, who dwellest in thine egg, I have come unto thee, that I may be among those who follow thee. Let me come forth from the city of Akazi, let me enter therein, let the gates thereof be opened unto me, let me breathe the air which is therein, and let me have possession of the offerings thereof. 10. Vignette the tenth art a man holding a knife in each hand standing before above him is a serpent text the tenth art which is to be painted yellow the osiris nu triumphant saith hail thou city of the gods kohu who take possession of the kus and gain the mastery over the shades Garbit, who devour vigorous strength, and consume filth when their eyes see, and who guard not the earth. Hail, ye who dwell in your arts, cast yourselves upon your bellies when I pass by you. My glorious strength shall not be taken away, and none shall gain the mastery over my shade, for I am a divine hawk. Offerings of anly unguent have been made ready by me, Incense hath been offered by me. Animals have been slaughtered by me. Isis hath made offerings to my head. Nephthys is behind me, and a road hath been made clear for me. Hail, serpent now, bull of Nut, Neheb, cow, I have come unto you. O gods, deliver ye me, and grant ye unto me my glorious strength for ever. 11. 
vignette, the eleventh art, wherein stands a jackal-headed god holding a knife. Text. The eleventh art, which is to be painted green, the Osiris new triumphant saith, Hail, thou city, which art in the underworld, Nater Kert, which coverest over the body, and gainest the mastery over the coos. None can come forth therefrom, and none can enter therein, by reason of fear of the opposing power which is therein. Now the gods who are therein look upon it in iron, and the dead who are therein look upon it in his slaughterings, except the gods who live therein in his mystery of the coos. Hail, thou city of Artu, grant thou unto me that I may pass on, for I am the god who is mighty of enchantments by reason of the knife which came forth from the god Suti. I have my feet and legs for ever. I rise like Ra. I am strong through the eye of Horus. My heart is lifted up after it was brought low. I am glorious in heaven, and I am mighty upon earth. I fly like a hawk, and I cackle like the smen goose, and it has been given to me to alight at the thigh of the lake. I stand up upon it, I sit down upon it, I rise up like a god, I eat of the food of Sekti Hetep, and I go onwards to the domain of the starry gods. The double doors of Mart are opened unto me, and the double doors of the land of the great deep are unbolted before me. I set up a ladder to heaven among the gods, and I am a divine being among them. I speak with the voice of the smen goose to which the gods listen, and my speech and my voice are those of the star sept. Sothis. 12. Vignette. The twelfth art. Called Asche Tet M. Amen. The twelfth art, which is to be painted green. The Osiris new triumphant saith, Hail, thou art of the city of Unt, at the head of Rastau, the flame of which is a blazing fire. The gods are unable to approach thee, and the Khus are unable to gather together therein, by reason of the Uraii, which would blot out their names. Hail, thou art of Unt. I am in the form of the mighty God, who dwelleth among the Khus, and who dwelleth in thee. I am among the stars that never fail within thee. I shall never fail, and my name shall never fail. Hail, Hoda of the God, say they, the gods who dwell in the art of Unt. I shall be with you, I shall live with you, O ye gods who dwell in the art of Unt. Love ye me, more than your own gods, for I shall be with you for ever in the presence of the followers of the great God. 13. Vignette The thirteenth art, called Uat Entmu. Behind it stands the hippopotamus, Hebech Re'ef, with the right forepaw resting on a beetle. Text the thirteenth art, which is to be painted green. The Osiris new, triumphant, saith, Hail, thou art, wherein the Khus gain no mastery. Thy waters are of fire, and the streams which are in thee burn with fire, and thy flame is a blazing fire. Those who are there, and who wish to drink thy waters to quench their thirst, cannot do so, by reason of the mighty dread which possesseth them, and by reason of the great terror which it causeth them to have. The gods and the Khus look upon the waters thereof, and retreat without having quenched their thirst, and their hearts are not set at rest. And though they wish to enter into them, they cannot do so. The stream is filled with reeds, even as the stream which floweth from the issues which come forth from Osiris. I have gained the mastery over the waters thereof. I have drunk from the canal thereof, like the god who dwelleth in the art of the waters, 
and who is the guardian thereof. The gods are more afraid to drink the waters thereof than are the Kus, and they retreat therefrom. Homage to thee, O thou God, who dwellest in the art of the waters, I have come unto thee, grant thou that I may gain power over the waters thereof, and that I may drink from the canal thereof, even as thou dost allow to drink the great God from whom cometh half, that is, the Nile, who maketh green things to come into being, who maketh to grow the things which grow, who maketh vigorous young plants and herbs, and who also giveth to the gods gifts which proceed from him and offerings, and grant thou that I may come to Hap, and that I may gain power over young plants and herbs, for I am the son of thy body for ever. 14. Vignette the fourteenth art, a range of mountains called Field of Care Abba, a man holding a libation vase, the god Anubis, a hawk with a disc, a lion god, a man setting the Tesher crown upon a god, a hippopotamus, a crocodile, and a worm. Text The fourteenth art which is to be painted yellow. The Osiris Nu, triumphant, saith, Hail, thou art of Kerabba, which turneth back Hap at Tetu. Grant thou that Hap may come abundant in grain, as he advanceth for the mouth of those who eat, and giving divine offerings to the gods, and the sepulchral meals for the Kus. There is a serpent in the double county of Abu, elephantine at the mouth of hap and he cometh with water and he standeth up upon the thigh of care abba with his divine sovereign princes at the head of the canal and seeth in his hour which is the silence of the night hail ye gods of care abba and ye sovereign princes at the head of the canal thereof let your pools be opened to me, let your streams be opened to me, let me gain power over the water, let me rest on the canal, let me eat grain, let me be satisfied with your food, let me lift myself up, let my heart be great, even as is that of the God who dwelleth in Ke'abba, let offerings like unto yours be made to me, let me not be destroyed by the issues which come forth from Osiris, and let me not be withdrawn therefrom for ever. Here endeth the book in peace. End of chapter 38。Chapter 39 of Jerusalem to Revelations A Quartet of Spiritual Experience by William Blake and others. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Tony Addison The Chapters of Coming Forth by Day Chapter 150 From the Papyrus of Noom Vignette Four serpents, emblematic, probably, of the cardinal points, and fifteen are one. Seket Aru, the god wherein is Ra Herukuti, Ra Hamakis. Two. The brow of fire, the god wherein is Fa Ach, bearer of altars. Three. Mountain exceedingly high. Four. Art of the Kuz. Five. Am Mehet, the god wherein is Seker Remu, overthrower of fish. Six. Aset. Seven. Haset, the god wherein is Farpet. Bearer of heaven. 8. The brow 
of the Kahu. 9. Atu, the god wherein is set. Sothis. 10. Unt, the god wherein is Hetemet Bayu, destroyer of souls. 11. The brow of the waters, the god wherein is Ah Sakarau. 12. Art of Ker Abba, the god wherein is Hat Nile. 13. Stream of the lake of flame which is in the fire. 14. Arkes, the god wherein is ma thut -f. 15. The beautiful Amentet, the gods wherein live upon cakes and ale. Chapter 151 from the papyrus of Mut Hetep. Vignette The Funeral Chamber In the centre, upon a bier, lies the mummy of the deceased, and on one side is her soul, in the form of a human-headed bird. The god Anubis, jackal-headed, stands on the other side, bending over the mummy. At the head of the bier kneels Nephthys, and at the foot Isis. The walls, which are here depicted as lying flat on the ground, are ornamented with emblems and texts, and at each corner stands one of the gods of the cardinal points. Two Ushabtu figures, two souls, a flame, etc., fill up the remaining spaces text thy right eye is like the sectet boat thy left eye is like the atet boat thine eyebrows are like anpu thy fingers are like thoth thy hair is like patar seke they make a fair way for thee and they smite down for thee the fiends of set one isis saith i have come to protect thee o osiris with the north wind which cometh forth from tem i have strengthened for thee thy throat i have caused thee to be with the god and i have placed all thine enemies under thy feet two nephthys saith i go round about behind my sister osiris Mutheta. I have come that I may protect thee, and my strength, which protecteth, shall be behind thee for ever and ever. The god Ra hearkeneth unto thy cry. Thou, O daughter of Hathor, art made to triumph. Thy head shall never be taken away from thee, and thou shalt be made to rise up in peace. 3. A deity saith, If any would come to fetter thee, I will not allow him to do so. If any would come to hurl missiles at thee, I will not allow him to do so. But I will fetter thee, and I will hurl missiles at thee, and I am protecting thee, O Mut Hetep Triumphant. 4. The Tet saith, O thou that comest quickly, I turn back thy steps, O Capra and I illume thy hidden place. I stand behind the tet on the day of turning back slaughters, and I am protecting thee, O Mut Hetep, triumphant before Osiris. 5. The flame saith, I surround with sand the hidden tomb, and drive away him that would attack it. I lighten the funeral mountain, I cast light thereon, I traverse the way, and I protect Mut Hetep triumphant. 
sex. Anubis, who is at the head of the divine hall, and who dwelleth upon his mountain, the lord of Tartichset, saith, I have come to protect Osiris Muthetep triumphant. 7. The living soul of Muthetep saith, Let Ra be adored in heaven, and when he setteth on the western horizon of heaven. 8. The living soul and the perfect Ku of Mut Hetep triumphant before Osiris say, Adored be Ra when he riseth in the eastern horizon of heaven. 9. A and B. The lady of the house, Mut Hetep, saith, Hail, Shabti figure, if I be condemned, or if there be allotted to me any work to do in the underworld, behold, let opposition be set aside, such as is done by a man in his term, namely, sowing the fields, and filling the channels with water, and bringing the sand of the west to the east, or be thou present when I call upon thee. 10. Mesta saith, I am thy daughter, O Muthetep, and I have come to protect thee. I make thy house to germinate, and to be established firmly, according to what Ptah hath commanded, and according to what Ra hath commanded. 11. Harpy saith, I have come to protect thee, O Osiris Muthetep. I bind up for thee thy head and thy members. I smite down thine enemies for thee beneath thee, and I give thee thy head for ever. 12. Saith Twab Mount F. I am thy daughter who loveth thee, O Mut Hetep, triumphant for ever. I have come, and I have avenged thee, O my father Osiris, upon him that did evil unto thee, and I have brought him under thy feet. 13. Keb Senu F. I am Keb Senu F and I have come that I may protect Muthetep. I have collected into a whole body for thee thy bones. I have gathered together for thee thy members. I have brought thy heart, and I do set it upon its seat within thy body, and I make thy house to germinate after thee. Chapter 151 Vignette The God Anpu Anubis, standing by the mummy of the deceased, which lies on a bier. Text. The god Anpu, who dwelleth in the city of embalmment, the governor of the divine house, placeth his two hands upon the lord of life, of Nebsene, the scribe and draughtsman of the temple of Ptah, the lord of piety, the son of the scribe and designer, Thena, triumphant, born of the lady of the house, Mut rest, triumphant, and he furnisheth him with the things which belong to him. Homage to thee, O happy one, divine lord, who art endowed with the sight of the Uchat, Ptah Seka hath bound thee up, and Pu hath exalted thee, and Shu hath caused thee to be lifted up, O face of beauty, thou divine prince of eternity, thou hast thine eye, O scribe Nebsene, thou lord of piety and beautiful it is. Thy right eye is in the sectet boat, and thy left eye is in the met boat, and thine eyebrows are a fair appearance in the presence of the company of the gods. Thy brow is in the protection of Ampu, and the back of thy head, O beautiful one, is before the holy hawk. Thy fingers are established with written works in the presence of the Lord of Kemenu, Thoth, who hath given to me the speech of the sacred books. Thy hair is beautiful before Patasekha, and thou, O scribe Nebsene, thou Lord of piety, art beautiful, before the great company of the gods. The great god looketh upon thee, and 
he leadeth thee along the path of happiness, and sepulchral meals are bestowed upon thee. He overthroweth for thee all thine enemies, and setteth them under thee, in the presence of the great company of the gods, who dwell in the mighty house of the aged one, which is in Anu. Heliopolis Chapter 132 From the Papyrus of Nu Vignette The Deceased Standing Before a House Text The Chapter of Building a House Upon the Earth The Overseer of the Palace The Chancellor-in-Chief Nu Triumphant saith hail seb rejoiceth for the osiris nu standeth up over his body and he goeth round about among those who follow ra to men and to the gods who have given birth to their own fathers i have ascribed praise and they have sight the goddess sesheta hath brought the god nebt and anpu anubis hath called unto the Osiris Nu to build a house on the earth. Its foundation is in Anu, Heliopolis, and the circuit thereof reacheth to Ker Abba. The shrine is like that of the god Sekem, who dwelleth in Sekem, according to that which I have written, for the renewal thereof. And men and women bring offerings and libations and ministrants. And Osiris saith unto the gods who are in his following, and who journey along, Behold ye the house which hath been built for a coup who is provided with all his attributes, who cometh daily to renew himself among you. O hold ye him in awe, and ascribe ye unto him praises, and let him be a favoured being with you. Look ye to what I have done, and to what I have said. And Osiris saith concerning the God, Let him come daily to renew himself among you, and let beasts for sacrifice be brought unto him by the south wind, and let grain be brought unto him by the north wind, and let barley be brought unto him from the ends of the earth. The mouth of Osiris hath ordered this for me. Drawing onward, may he go round about on his left hand, may he place himself on his right hand, and may he see men, and the gods, and the coups, and the dead, drawing him along with praises and cries of joy, and may he be a favoured being with them. Chapter 153a from the Papyrus of Noom. Vignette A net, fastened at one end to ground, below or near water. Text The Chapter of Coming Forth from the Net The Osiris Nu, the Overseer of the Palace, the Chancellor-in-Chief Triumphant, saith, Hail, thou God who lookest behind thee, thou God who hast gained the mastery over thine heart. I go a-fishing with the cordage of the uniter of the earth, and of him that maketh a way through the earth. Hail, ye fishers, who have given birth to your own fathers, who lay snares with your nets, and who go round about in the chambers of the waters, take ye not me in the net wherewith ye ensnared the helpless fiends, and rope me not in with the rope wherewith ye roped in the abominable earth-followers, which had its wooden frame reaching unto heaven, and its weighted parts upon the earth. Let me come forth, that is, escape, from the pegs thereof. Let me rejoice, along with the god of the Henu boat. Let me come forth, from its bars, let me rise up like the god Sebek, 
and let me make a flight to you, away from the snare of the fowler whose fingers are hidden. I know the pole with curved hands which is in it. Mighty finger of Sacri is its name. I know the Meches which is in it. Thai of the god Nenu is its name. I know the piece of wood which openeth in it. Hand of Isis is its name. I know the knife of slaughter which is in it. Slaughtering knife wherewith Isis cut off a piece of flesh from Horus is its name. I know the names of the frame and weights which are in it. Leg and thigh of the double lion god are their names. I know the name of the cordage wherewith it snareth living things. Vigor of Tem is its name. I know the name of the snarers who lay snares therewith. Akaru gods, ancestors of the Achabu gods, are their names. I know the names of its hands. Two hands of the great god, the lord who heareth speech in Anu, Heliopolis, on the night of the festival of the half-month in the temple of the moon-god, are their names. I know the name of the thigh which surroundeth it at its upper part, thigh of iron, whereupon the god stand is its name. I know the name of the superintendent who receiveth the fish therefrom, knife and vessel of the superintendent of the god is his name. I know the name of the table whereat he placeth himself, table of Horus, whereat he sitteth in solitude in the darkness and is not seen, the abjects fear him, and those therein ascribe unto him praises, is its name. I have come, and I am crowned, or have risen, like the mighty God who leadeth along the earth, and I have gone down to the earth in the two great boats, and behold, the mighty one hath placed me within the temple of the mighty God. I have come along with the snarer, my wooden tools, Arret, are with me, my knife is with me, and my hacking-knife is with me. I come forth, and I go round about, and I snare with the net. I know the name of the pole with curved ends. I, Temen Noru, flowing from the great finger of Osiris, is its name. I know the name of the two pieces of wood which hold fast. Hooks of the ancestors of Ra is the name of one and Hook of the ancestor of Hathor is the name of the other. I, even I, know the cords which are on the pole with curved ends. Cords of the Lord of Mankind is their name. I know the name of the table. Hand of Isis is its name. I know the name of its ropes. Rope of the god the first-born is their name i know the name of the cordage cordage of the day is its name i know the names of the fowlers and of the fishermen akero gods ancestors of ra is their name i know the names of the temenu ancestors of seb is their name I have brought unto thee that which thou eatest, and I have brought that which I eat, and thou eatest that which Seb eateth with Osiris. Hail, thou God whose face is behind him, thou God who hast gained the mastery over his heart, thou fisher and fowler of the opener of the earth. Hail, Ye fishers, who have given birth to your own fathers, 
and who lay snares within the city of Nifersent. Take ye me not into your net, and snare ye me not with the snares wherewith ye ensnared the helpless fiends, and wherewith ye caught the abominable earth followers, for I know the net, I know the upper framework, and the lower heavy parts thereof. Behold me then, for I have come, I have my pole with curved ends with me, I have my meckes with me, I have my table with me, and I have my slaughtering knife with me, I have come, and I have entered in, and I have myself pressed forward. Know ye that I, even I, know the name of the snarer of, or that which snareth, foul in his place. I have smitten it, I have opened it out, I have struck it, and I have set it upon its seat. Now the meckes which is with me, is the thigh of the god Nemo, and the pole with curved ends which is with me is the finger of Sakari, and the table which is with me is the hand of Isis, and the slaughtering knife which is with me is the slaughtering knife of the god Nemo. O oh, grant that I may come, O oh, grant then that I may sit in the boat of Ra, let me sail forth on the lake of Testes, towards the northern heaven let me do as they who sing when they sing praises of my car and let me live as do they there the osiris new triumphant cometh forth upon your ladder which ra hath made for him and horus and suti hold him fast by his hand in the sa'it recension the following rubric is added to this chapter this chapter shall be recited over a figure of the deceased which shall be put in a boat and behold thou shalt make a sectet boat on his right side and a martet boat on his left and let them bring offerings of cakes and of ale and of all kinds of fair things on the day of the birth of osiris the soul of him whom these things have been given shall live for ever and he shall not die a second time. End of chapter 39